Homies, this is your boy Frank Nitty back in the building, in the car, en route to a Nike outlet. I'm back in my hometown, I'm back in Orlando. Oh, you guys probably even hear me because it's uh, windows down. <laughs> Let's do this back over, y'all. I'm new to this. Let's go, you on. Got the on feet, man. We got the Justin Timberlake. What's poppin' on with your boy Frank Nitty back in the building? Yo, hold up, hold up, hold up, man. I had to re record this. How? Hop it, homies, it's your boy Frank Nitty back in the building, in car, en route to a Nike outlet. I'm back, y'all, back in Orlando. You guys may already know. Um, I did the Ace League, man. I did the Ace League Championship downtown Orlando, um, aka Old NBA Summer League. It was legit. It was legit. I had fun recording that. I wish I would have went to more games. Actually, that was the only game I went to. I wish I would have participated in recording some of the, the games that, that went down, man, because... Some of these teams look legit, man. Especially the two people in the championship. It was a close game. But anyways, that video is probably already up as I'm recording this. But we about to take our talents to the Nike outlet on Violent. And possibly if we have time, we might go to another outlet. But it would not be in this vlog. I'm just foreshadowing and let you know what's going on today with me. So let's pull up, see what's popping. And then, uh, yeah, we wrap out it towards the end. Plus, I got a whole bunch of pickups that I have not disclosed or unboxed. So stay tuned to that. All right, I'll see you out in a bit. Peace. All right, we made it, man. And on feet, I got the Air Jordan 1 High OGs, the reverse shadow backboard 2.0s, style code 555088, colorway 113. I know that because when I look for shoes, especially Air Jordan 1s, I never know what box they're in. So I got to go on StockX, find the style and colorway, and go and look for it through my collection, man. That's my little hack of finding the shoes I'm looking for that's in boxes. I don't know. What's y'all hack? But we're here, y'all. We're here. I don't see no lines, so that's a good thing. Got the Air Jordan 1 reverse shadow backboard. I don't know if it's reverse shadow backboard, but I'm going to call it the shadow backboard t-shirt. Copy this at the clearance store for like $14. And sorry for the loud noise. Actually, let's pick this up when we get inside because it's windy and the bells, the church bells is going off. So I'll see y'all inside. Well, there is a line. Short line, but there is a line. So we're going to start in the clothing. I found a few pieces I like. Um... These are like swimming trunks right here. They're going for 30, but that's not what I like. I actually like these joints right here. Similar to the shorts I had on yesterday, if y'all watched that video. They're like swimming trunks, but these are a little bit shorter though, man. So these are definitely above the knees, but they're hitting for $34. You got a black and gold foil Nike swoosh t-shirt. It's going for like 24, I bet you, or 21. You also got the Just Do It peace sign shirt. Remind me of the Do The Right Thing Spike Lee joint. I got the jacket for this. I think these are dope, $24. Also, they got some new SB sweaters, because you know, winter, Winter's coming, y'all. <laughs> Winter is coming. I like this colorway, man, but it's hit for $44. It's cool. I love sweaters, man, especially hoodie sweaters. And then, I think I've been seeing this. This is this is an old outlet. This floral uh, hoodie. Then you got this outlet spring with some orange, but this going for $21. Seen this in multiple outlets. Another sweater for y'all. This is blank, though. That's different. It's hitting for $42. Is it SB? Yep, SB around the collar. And then the tag, all gray joint. That's different. That's crazy. I don't have the branding for SB on the outside, on the outside of the sweater. All black tee. Yeah, Nike should do that, man. Come up with an all black color dry fit, make it great quality. Sells so like twenty dollars. USA Apparel. US is still in it. Depends on when you're watching this. We, we either metal or we did it. But right now we're still in it. This is hitting for three hundred. I'm mad at it though, man. And it's additional 30% off. You saw these tees at the clearance store. I forgot what they, what they were at the clearance store. They were there. They're going for it here. $35. Okay. They got the Paris. Paris Germain Jordan shorts. Not mad at them. They're going for 100 beans if y'all want them though. That's crazy. More USA apparel t-shirts. 30% off of those. And we got the bag. US Olympic ring. Olympic team. Let me show y'all something real quick, man. This is surprising. Excuse me. Why are these here? Why are they here, yo? The Griffries, Air Max Ones, multiple sizes. Now they are going for retail, but they're making it to the outlet. It just shows that they had a plethora of pairs, a few leftover size 11 and a half is the biggest size I see. What's good, man? How you been? Nike adapts the 1.0s. I do have me. Yo, let me. One nineteen, y'all. Got multiple sizes. Still got any battery life on it? Yeah, it does. Actually, it up. Nah, I appreciate it, man. I think about it, man. I may get the 12. Just like I have two of the 2.0s. 
what my period February of 2018. I'm gonna I'm gonna take out the box twice. Also, they got these joints, man. Air Jordan Five Lows, black and gold veins. Side number 20 on the side. Who number this? This is. I don't know too much about these, but I actually like the color. These are cool. Um, obviously the Griffies I showed you guys. They got the Kyrie's here. Oh, still got these center courts. We passing though. We're gonna keep it moving. Air Max 2090s for 109. The price went back up on those. You already know how I feel about these. Passing hard pass on those. Passing. Yo, there's a lot of empty shelves in here, man. Like, I don't know what was here. 129. It's probably those right there. Those Zephyrs. Yup. Zephyrs. So we can put those back. Empty shelves, as I mentioned. Empty shelves. Time for $100. What is that? Oh, it's these. These are 100? They're tripping. Nah, no, those 74. Yeah, those are 74. And we're back. And here we go. Pure money. It's 119. Still here. I know these are. <laughs> Not remakes. These are still from 2017. I guarantee you, if I look on the manufacturer date on these joints, it's gonna say 2017. Let me put the phone down. 2016? 2018. So I was a year off. But yeah, they're old, man. They're going for $120. Still got these LeBron's uh, 2K joints, size eight and a half. When I was here, they had a whole bunch of bigger sizes. A cat I play ball with, he said he got a few pairs, and I told him to offer me a price, and I'll probably buy it from him. I will hoop for, I will hoop in these, man. See, LeBron 2Ks. And these are going for 160. It's not a bad price, man. They didn't have my size last time I was here, so that's why I didn't pick it up. And I'm not picking these up either. They're 160, though. Eight and a half. Not bad. Element 55s, 90 beans. Color with pure platinum, summit white. Moving past that, all black joints for 90. Same price. Yeah, uh, what do we got here? The kill shots. 70 beans. Is this even showing up? I feel like this is oversaturated. Why is that? All right, this is a whole lot better, man. 70 beans for this, full size run. Kill shots, moving on. Kill shot, this is the black one. Yeah, moving past that. Now here we go, man. Nike, BB4, black and yellow. Full size run, not really. Size 11 is the biggest. I've seen these shoes for a lot cheaper, but they didn't have my size. And here they are with bigger sizes, but not the price I would want to pay. But the price I don't want to pay, nor the size I wanted anyway. So that's a, that's a move on. What are these, excuse me, Nike, React. Do got React in them, so I guess it will be comfy. But what's the application for the shoes? Is it basketball running? Definitely not running. Is it hiking? But you know what I'm saying? I don't got no trail outsole. So what is the what's the purpose of these? I have no idea. 160 multiple sizes, two rows of them. If I care for them, we moving past that. More elements, 55. They're going for 90 though. Eventually, I'm gonna get a pair so I can try them and uh, play ball. And a few sizes left. Hunter beans, not bad. We part pass on the witness. I'm not a fan of the witness. Now this is a whole different witness shoe. I have never seen this green joint. They're going for 80. More Lebrons. And it's a uh, blue tint, white, clear. Okay, they got the hair colorway. Nine out of the price. A few sizes left, size 11 and a half. Pass. They got the Kyrie's here as well. The Kyrie 3 uh, lows. I forgot to mention, so it is a tax-free weekend. I forgot how long it lasts. I know it started over the weekend. But essentially, there's no sales tax on any item that's $59.99 and less. So you can get out here paying no tax. You can go. You can go. Uh, however, if it's over... $59.99, 6000 up, you gotta pay tax on it, man. So I'll start mentioning with shoes that you can get for tax free. I'm not sure how long it's lasting though. Example being these, right? These are $59.97, so exactly what you'll pay. You'll pay $59.97 for these PG-14 basketball promos. There's a few sizes left. The biggest size I see is a size 10 and a half, but it's a good bowling shoe, you know what I'm saying? Uh, the cosmetic utilities, no. You're paying retail plus tax, well, I'm sorry. You're paying outlet retail plus tax on those. These would be no sales tax, $55 for these renewed Elevates. They also got the PG-5s in the building. Light shoe, haven't rocked mines yet, but they're going for outlet retail. Actually, no, they're going for retail game, $110 for those. And here is the Jason Tatum's, yo, nah, the first uh, Nike um, Adapt basketball shoe in all gray. They do have my size, 119 is the price. You already know I got the original pair, the blue and black joint. Cop those as well. I'm not a fan of them though, man, because I prefer the yellow ones. But I think I'm just getting these just for nostalgia purposes, man. Because I don't think Nike's going to reproduce these, remake these. And because they didn't do so well originally, I feel like this is going to be a collector's at some point in time. Before I get out of here, man, I'll show you guys one thing. We got the Air Force One Ray Guns. White, orange, yellow, black outsole, white midfoot. Uh, what are they going for? Retail gang. Yep, 110. Multiple sizes and those. What y'all think about these, man? I know they came out with the air rays of this. Uh, I forgot what the silhouettes they came out with the ray gun. Look, I seen the shorts, I seen the outfits, hard pass for me. Air Force One, it's cool though. I don't wear Air Force Ones, but I like the combination of different material on this shoe though. I'm not mad at it. 110, they gotta go on sale. So for these right here, man, the biggest size I have is a size 11. They did not have my size, so it's a pass. So I'm gonna put it back. I would've rocked them. I like those.
Another impulse buy that I may regret. We're gonna wrap this up at the crib, man. Man, I do this all the time. I do this all the freaking time. I'll tell y'all what I'm talking about when I see y'all at the crib, man. Peace. Yo, was that wrong? 55088. Colorway 113. The reverse shadow backboard 2.0. Nevertheless, I rock these today, man. They're going for crazy numbers. I didn't even know how much it was worth until, well, I did last time I rocked them, I looked, because I had to get the colorway as well. And then today, when I went to get the colorway, I'm like, damn, people's paying 1300 for these? Anyways, copies at the trophy room years back. Rocked them a handful of times, literally. All right, y'all, so you already know what I probably picked up. This is my original pair. Bought this several years back. And this literally is gonna be like my third time unraveling these. Boom, here they go. The original colorway, oh man, I thought it was blue and black. For some odd reason, I thought it was blue and black. They're black and white. I'm tripping. And this is the other pair that I copped today. I paid a lot less for this gray pair than I did the black pair. Back in February, I think, uh, 2018, possibly 2019, I copped these for 350, man. Now, I don't think I charged them recently. The last time I took them out, let's see. Yep, they're charged, because you hear the noise? There you go, they're charged. And I have them test these um, as well to make sure that the battery's not dead because these are rechargeable batteries, so there's probably some lithium batteries in here. And you know, if it fails, and I don't know what happens if the battery dies or the mechanism is broken. Do Nike repair these? I don't know. But anyways, this is a great pair. I paid 196 uh, because I had additional discount. I had 10% off birthday coupon that Nike hit me up with. My birthday, my birthday is this month in August. I don't know if I want these, to be honest with you, man. It was an impulse buy, literally, man. Um, I got the originals, the OGs. Well, they're all considered OGs in a sense. But this pair was a lot cheaper, man. 196 plus tax. I paid 350 for these. I haven't rocked these yet. Am I gonna rock these? I don't know, but now I'm looking at them. I don't know if I might keep, I don't know, man. I don't know, I do not know. I do not know. Technically, I didn't pay anything for these, really. Um, I use my Apple Card, and if as frequent as I buy things on my Apple Card, I have accumulated tons of cash, so I just use my cash that I have cumul accumulated. The reason why I really don't want these because I have a laundry list of stuff that I wanted to buy. Um, there's a few sneakers I have on my hit list that I wanna get this year. In the event that I don't get those, I'm gonna have to pay a resale for those, which is something I've never done in the past, but those LeBron, South Beaches, man, the preheats, I need those, man. I didn't win them, and I don't want to wait for a restock because God knows when that's going to happen, and God knows if I will even win that. So I may have to go into the pockets, man. I have to go deep into the pockets and pay that resale value for, for those shoes. And coming from a guy who don't have that money in LeBrons or don't care for LeBrons, but that shoe I wanted to have. Like, that was on my radar the whole entire year. And then to go and spend close to $200 for these, that kind of takes away from that. Also got some other opportunities with my RC cars. I wanted to beef them up. I'm on, on track to get over 100 miles an hour on one of my cars. So that kind of takes away from that as well. So there's a lot of money being spent for something I really don't need. But now that I have them in hand, man, I don't know. I don't know. Anyways, comment down below, man. Should I keep them? I already got the OG. Do I need another pair? Am I gonna hoop in them? Because playing basketball is wishy-washy for me, man. I'm getting older. I'm like, yo, do I wanna get up that early and go hoop? You know what I mean? If, if, if I can't be competitive and, and, and be slick on the court like I used to, man, it's not even worth it. But I'm rambling. Thank you guys for watching. If you're new to this channel and like what you just saw, please leave your comments down below and let me know should I hold on to the gray pair. Let me know. Or, I don't know, if Nike's still taking these back? Because I had an opportunity to take these back over a year ago, and those gonna give me full price back for them, like three something. Because I was like, I ain't gonna wear them. But now nah, I wanna keep them. I'm, I'm, I'm talking. But anyways, leave those comments down below. Um, Hit the like, hit the subscribe, hit the notification bell as well, and your boy get back to you as soon as possible. Until then, until we meet again, you already know my slogan. Good to go. It's a wrap. Peace. Man, should I keep them?